Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 16 December. It's a Wednesday, FOMC today. Retail sales today. European PMIs today. This is probably the busiest day um, for the rest of the year. So let's pay attention here. Um, we do have uh, MPC tomorrow. Uh, an Aussie unemployment tonight, but uh, it's a busy period here. Let's let's just say this Wednesday, Thursday should be the last busy period. So strap it in, put your focus glasses on, and get your big boy pants out. Um, should be some ball today, hopefully. Uh, here are the obvious levels here: uh, one twenty-one seventy-seven in euro. We've been dancing up here. Between uh, 60 and, and 69, the range overnight, low has been 45, uh, high has been 65. If we get strong uh, numbers out of Europe, the service is PMI out of Germany and France. This is 9.15 uh, Central European Time, 9.30 CET. Um, this could push positive Brexit news, could push this. Um, there's a lot of um, things that could push this higher. On the other side of the argument, um, I actually think, I mean, obviously this is the neckline down. I mean, this is, this is the neckline down here. Oops, sorry. This is the neckline down here, 120.58. But I do think uh, if we get down through here, 121.22, we'll be in for some trouble. Uh, and what could drive us down through there? It would just be a hawkish Fed. I don't see any other reason we would get down there. Um, there's clearly some very strong buying um, on any moves down. A lot of these moves down are Euro Sterling based. so. As euro sterling gets sold, the big banks in the world now do it through the components, right? So they go out and buy cable, and then they sell euro dollar. Sometimes there's <laughs> sometimes there's little pockets of of shit, um, and the market gets a little bit caught. Um, these are all sort of fix moves, 8 a.m. fix in 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 New York, typically. Um, so. Don't see any reason why this should go lower, but if it does, um, you can actually think about the short side through 120, 120. So you want to try and probably get long through the uh, year's highs. Um, if we get up through 121.77, we can easily get to 122.5, uh, 123 this week. Cable, uh, you want to buy low ones. I don't think we're going to get any low ones the rest of the way. Hopefully you have some core longs on. Um, I don't know what to say. It's all comment driven. Um, the comments now are getting sort of syrup, syrupy warm. I don't know. Um, 135.40 has been sort of the high on this um, on this really treacherous, difficult period in cable up down up down up down and then really big down there into the 131 um, 35 as you can see from this chart uh, it makes it look pretty easy it's an uptrend uh, and path of least resistance is up long cable we like dollar Swiss on its knees This is the same uh, point, 88.50 is the same point as 121.77. Um, we prefer trading Euro dollar to dollar Swiss. We've talked about this a million times, but it's the same point. Um, there's going to be stops below 50, I think. Actually, no, there's not. The specs don't even trade dollar Swiss anymore. This is just a hedge currency <clears throat> or a risk management currency. Um, 
I don't know. If you live in Switzerland and you're American, you might want to trade dollar Swiss. Or if you're like me, who lives in Switzerland and is American, you just can also just ignore dollar Swiss. Dollar yen caught me by surprise yesterday. I thought, I thought this long tail on the uh, dailies, this here was going to be a turn right back in your face. Um, 103.19 is the next point. Do not, <laughs> I do not like being short dollar yen down here. Um, be that as it may. Totally wrong yesterday. But dollar yen, um, I think if rates go higher, which I think they are going to go higher into the end of the year, uh, it might be in for some topside action. Which probably means euro yen goes way higher. Uh, that said, 126.80 is sort of the recent highs in Euro Yen. And you can see here, Euro Yen is probing the lows, and that's one of the reasons Dollar Yen is where it is. Um, it's not a bad chart point. Tricky. Tricky, especially with Euro dollar bid. Is this, is Dollar Yen going to carry this through the lows and get smashed? Don't know. Interesting chart point. Tricky story there. This story looks good if services and PMI miss. So maybe Euro Yen's your horse um, for downside Euro, and Euro dollars your horse for topside Euro. Sterling is not doing anything. Dollars are also pounding the lows here. This looks like she's heading a little bit lower today. Very stretched. Very uneasy about dollars are here. No position. Dollar max. There's some weird news flow in max. Um, past couple of days, which took max up to 2020. Then we got a big, big smasher there. There's some threats of of uh, rating agency changes and whatnot. Um, surely that's a piece of news where the rating is safe, not following it super closely, um, in the middle of nowhere. So nothing to do there. We talked about Aussie yesterday, I was saying it looked very bearish, and it did. Um, but we also talked about structuring a trade. Are you going to sell twenty sevens and and, and leave a 73 stop um, the answer is unequivocally no because your math is fucked up right and when I say math your risk reward so if you're going to risk 50 pips you got to at least make I don't know 250 5 to 1 at the minimum we try for way higher than that um, historically when we're trading at our best our risk reward is over 10 to 1 back at the hedge fund it was 18 to 1 um, so what do you do here I don't know I mean stocks look bid this could go higher if euro punches through the highs if the Fed is dovish this is going to catch a lot of guys who did leave their stop above 75 hit 27s so there's going to be risk above here I don't know my heart says lower the chart says higher. Tricky. Euro Aussie's just dicking around. Looks like one massive head and shoulders, right? Tricky, tricky Euro Aussie. Aussie Yen playing topside with equities. Kiwi end's going to be the same. Kiwi. Same chart. It's going to be stops above 7120 for everyone who sold and didn't pay attention to the math. Of course, now if you were to sell, um, it would make a little bit more sense, right? If you're going to sell at 02 or 08 or, and leave a 20 stop. Um, 
but that's going to be a, quite a binary trade, right? You don't want to you don't want to do that into numbers. You want to do that with a piece of news or with a number. Um, so if you do still want to sell, it makes a lot more sense here. What's been the high? 11. <coughs> Excuse me. Those 11s look all right. Uh, why you would sell at 11, I don't know. But your risk reward is great. So you get a nine point risk reward. You get a hundred point, um, even probably more downside there. But if you're going to put this trade on now, you need stocks to turn. You need some bad news to come out and you need to be quick on the trigger. Um, otherwise, this is going to bust through 20 and uh, break some hearts. Gold pointing in that same direction, weaker dollar. 1862, the high. Overall in the middle of nowhere, right? So we, we traded down to 20, back up to 60. We're in this massive consolidation after the puke from the highs. Let's look at the dailies. Should be some sort of downward sloping trend line. Not super useful, that, right? Too far away. Not sure what to do with gold. This is an FOMC trade. If he's dovish, you can buy gold. You can use it as your horse. If he's hawkish, you sell gold. Yes, looks pretty robust. That said, big up day yesterday. Two days ago, big down day. Dicking around on the top side. This is all going to go down to Powell. Um, do we float higher into Powell? Yes. Does Powell disappoint? could easily do as in less dollars than people think and if he is you pound s and p's this is your horse if he disappoints on the dovish side this is your horse if powell disappoints zb still selling high ones within sort of a ranged parameter um, kind of want to be square on the tactical book going into FOMC but selling high ones is, has been okay got to be careful on this because this is a, now a hugely consensus trade and that's always dangerous every single person I know wants to be short the long bond in the US um, so what will typically happen is this will go down into the year end the first three or four days people will put this position on as their like glory position for 2021 and then um, they'll be eating crow reliving some Shawshank redemption action I don't know late January early February and that's probably when you fade it when all of the uh, smug um, overconfident early birds get stopped Bitcoin just bid maybe we should call it bid coin <clears throat> remains bid nothing to do up here you should take something off um, and be and still remain core long crude as you all know I have no idea how this works or, or what drives it but it's bid look at that chart that shit is bid who knows Anyway, um, big focus on euro dollar today because of the Fed. Uh, we're watching 121.20 on the downside if the Fed is hawkish. 121.77 on the top side if if European PMIs beat. Also, if the Fed is hawkish or less dovish, we will smash S and P's today. These are our focuses. Won't be really trading ZBs much today. Um, keeping it simple euro dollar or s and p's good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow